Hello and welcome back to the Life Slips YouTube channel. Today is the Tuesday of finals week. It's about 8 a.m. right now. And one of my favorite finals week traditions for the winter finals week is to do a Monday night dinner of potato soup. I had a final last night, so I did not really want to host last night, but tonight I don't have any exams. And so I'm making potato soup. I texted the entire crew group chat so anyone who wants to can come over for a bowl of soup between the hours of like five and probably seven or whenever soup runs out. But now I have to actually make the soup. And I also am in the middle of writing a paper today that I have to do a lot of work on. But first things first, and the first thing is soup. I'm gonna bring you along, show you how I'm making the soup. And yeah, I'll probably vlog a little bit at the soup dinner too. I don't know how many people will come. I think a lot of people are going home today, so. That's sort of the point though. I just remember freshman year feeling really lonely, especially in finals week when it felt like all, everyone had gone home and the only thing there was to do was study. That was really isolating for me. And so I wanted to make sure that our apartment is a place that can bring people together even in a week where it's a little bit more sparse no number of people who are here. <laughs> this year normally I don't follow a recipe and the recipe calls for diced potatoes so that is what we are going to do. So the recipe the recipe says to start with bacon in a Dutch oven. However, I do not have bacon, but I do have pepperoni that's left over. And if I wasn't using it for this, I don't think I would eat this pepperoni. I made pizzas with two of my friends the other night and we had pepperoni for that, but you don't need a whole pack of pepperoni for pizzas. So now I have all this pepperoni that I'm not going to use. So I might as well use it for soup. So this isn't a full pack pepperoni, but it's probably close to one. And I'm just going to crisp it up in a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of pepperoni. But there's a lot of potatoes. Here's the pepperoni, crisping away. Remember, we have vegetarians in the group, so I got all the bacon out of there, and now I'm adding the onions. some garlic to the onions and I'm going to put the rest of this flour in. It's probably like a half cup. I'm not really measuring things. I have a recipe this year. Normally I don't follow a recipe. I'm following the recipe very loosely. Next up, I have a big bowl of potatoes that I'm going to add. They definitely don't all fit in the pot. Solid. I'll add more later. Gonna add heavy whipping cream. I think that's more than it calls for, but I'm just using it up. And then milk. A solid spoon of salt. A smaller spoon of pepper. And then some chili powder. The recipe technically calls for chicken broth, but again, I don't want any vegetarians to show up and not be able to eat. So instead, I'm just going to do some water. 
I think it'll still be a hard enough soup because of all the milk and heavy cream I put in. Hopefully no vegans show up. I actually don't think I know any vegans, so I think we're okay on that one. This is a really full pot. Let me show you. Wow. It says bring to a boil and then cook until potatoes are tender. I really think that's going to be difficult to do. So I think instead I'm just going to cover this with a lid and let it cook for maybe an hour or so until the potatoes are tender. Just because of the way this is so potato-y, I think that's what's going to have to happen. And then I will puree it in a blender or a food processor or something. But I think for now, maybe I'll see if we can fit the last potatoes. Oh, yeah, we can do it. And then I'm going to clean up. And then I'll let you know when the soup is looking more tender. Okay, the soup is not totally done, but I want to go somewhere else to study. So I'm going to try to blend it up and see if it works. Here, I'll show you. This is what it's looking like. The potatoes are still a little bit crispy, but we'll see if they blend. I just gotta say, it's 9.27 now, which means it took about an hour to cook, which is pretty good. Um, problem is I'm using our biggest crock pot and it may not fit. It's 4.20 p.m. I just got home from work. Not from work, from doing work in the soup. some soup in a different pot, I can mix the pepperoni in to this one because the vegetarians can just eat the other one. Oh my goodness, Ugh, this is gross. I don't like pepperoni for a reason. It's much too greasy. Will I still eat the soup with it? Probably because the grease will all get mixed in. Okay, here's the spread. We got soup. That's the meat one. Here's the vegetarian. They're both on low. I made some sage croutons. Got some shredded cheese, bowls, spoons, napkins. I think that's all the utensils we need. And then a little hot chocolate bar. after the thank you slide because the boys were really unhinged that night normally it's me who's unhinged but it was them um but it was a really nice way to wrap up the semester with some potato soup some attempted studying some goofing off together just in community so i hope you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel we are posting two times a week on thursdays and sundays between thanksgiving and christmas for vlogmas so make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you in our next video to do with kids, but she seems to know what to do with me, so... Oh. Okay, I'll switch, switch hands. I think we haven't seen it in a while. Oh, really? Of course. <laughs> you know what? It has to be... What? <laughs> it has to be accurate. <laughs> does it? I've done this before. This is the one. That wasn't me. What are we doing here? You don't come into a woman's house. What is going face? on? What are you doing? No, see, and then you stop. Oh, stop. Let go, let go. Yes. Why is that there? That's where it should be. It looks better up there. Just trust. What's the f- No! I don't know what the f- I wonder if the frog knows what the frog is. I'm gonna go take the clothes up there, too.